So, last time on Skyler Arcadia... Escape? Into Rich City? <laughs> now we in Rich City. This is a fountain. So we rescued our pirate fam from, you know, death. And now we gotta rescue a whammon. Feist, that huge vehicle over there must be the rail car. I think you're right, Ika. Looks like it can only ride on those rails. I guess it would be hard to steal. Let me get a closer look. Finna! What are you talking about? I thought Finna was supposed to be at the palace. That's what I thought, but it looks like that rail car is going to the Grand Fortress. If she gets taken into the fortress, we'll never be able to get her out. We have to move, now! Night, Wallach. Have a good one, dude. Enjoy PAX East, if I don't talk to you before then. I want this rail car. It sounds like the engines are starting. We'll never get down there in time. Vice, what should we do? Suplex the rail car! At least Kiwi understands. We gotta jump onto the roof. What? Isn't there a plan B? Come on, Aika. This shouldn't be too tough. Hua! And then they both were never seen again. Hopefully, well. I'll have to see if I'm going to ask you to do this here. Finn should be at the front of the rail car. Let's go. Or Galshian. We just received a message from the central station in Upper City. They spotted some air pirates snooping around the rail cars. Hmm. What? And the air pirates who escaped the execution? Are they still free? Yes, Lord Glashian. My humblest apologies. It matters not. I'll summon the city guards and sweep all the rail cars. We'll find them. That won't be necessary. We know where they are heading. They're going to try to rescue the girl. What's the status of the Grand Fortress gates? Oh, I never changed the title either. Pirates in the sky. I feel like that's a good title. They're currently open, sire. They aren't scheduled to close for a while. Close the gates immediately. Place all ships in the bay at full alert. Dispatch the Imperial Rail Car immediately. I shall deal with these pirates myself. Yes, Lord Glacian. Who's the fuck's on my rail car? Huh. 
Hey, don't cat quest quicker. You can't say that. Alpha Storm! What's the best, Captain Jack? Evolution Worlds? I've never heard of Evolution Worlds. Is it really that hidden jimmy if I haven't heard of it? Electri Alpha Store. <laughs> Why does this guy have a bigger sword than me? I'm fucked. Who's that? Vice. There's something about this guy. I'm not sure what it is, but I don't think we can take him. Yeah, he looks really mad too. Alright guy, here's the plan. Run! We have to get to Finna before he catches us. This is terrifying. Alpha Storm! Only reason to play this game is to Alpha Storm. I was looking at so far a pretty good game. Now, where's my counter counter attack? Dude, I'm gonna be so over leveled. I'm gonna destroy everyone with my Alpha Storm soon. That's weird that I haven't heard of it though, Captain Jack. Cause yeah, like I obviously know Billy Hatcher, Skies, and Fantasy Star. Vice? Who are you? Hey Sorry, we took so long, Finna. We're here to get you out. Insolent pest. You'll have to get past us first. Bring it on.
Finn is dead. Wow, I don't have a lot of health. I'm glad I'm attacking the other one. <laughs> Counter stance. Ignore that one. What, do you, what the fuck? Why do you guys get guns? Okay, I need to heal vice. Jeez. Oh yeah, you have no MP left, dude. Right. Is this the one that heals a thousand? Yeah. You back it up with some. Uh... I don't know. Maybe an alpha storm? I'm thinking Alpha Storm. Do it then, Cade. I'm calling you out. I bet you won't. I bet you don't know how. I might need to look into it, uh, Kevin Jack. No more. Okay, I have the heal Ica. They need to stop that healing shit! Okay, it's it's okay. We all can't have alpha storms all the time, you know. Let's try this. Alright, I think we're going to need to alpha storm these fucks. Yeah, and I have no MP left, like... I think we gotta go for that kill on this one. She has the fanciest banana. And she cooks it super well. Oh, he's gonna heal? They need to stop!
I don't have any way to mute right now. No, I think we have a decent chance of, uh... Getting a kill here. As long as... We don't get destroyed. So close, dude. If we attack before they do, we'll be okay. Oh, there's counter stancing again. I think we'll be okay. And with one down. That's a lot less to worry about. I think I'm actually going to heal this turn. Let's try this. Yeah, now they can't heal each other. God, that counter stance is disgusting. If I had magic, that fight could have gone a lot better. Oh well, we just made a thousand five hundred gold. And a level up. And ten magic droplets. I'm so glad you're safe, Finna. We were worried about you. Vice, Aika, how did you... Why? Why do you think? We're here to save you. You mean, you did th all this? Just for me? Oh, Finna, we're friends. We weren't let gonna let you take... Uh, let them take you from us. Thank you, both so much. Honestly, I, I was so scared. I was all alone. I was afraid that they were gonna hurt me. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm so grateful. Everything is okay now, Finna. Now let's get out of here. I can't allow that. What? He found us! <laughs> you, you sure? You, yeah, you, you did it. I'm Galshian, Lord of the Imperial Armada. You've caused a, us a great deal of trouble, boy. What is your name? I'm Vice of the Blue Rogues. I just thought you were, that, were the guy that cleaned the rail cars. Ah, so you are the one who made a fool out of Alfonso. That girl is worth nothing to you, air pirates. Hand her over to me. I'll, I guarantee that your lives, as well as, as well as that of the girl, will be spared. Is that a deal? That honestly sounds pretty fair. But never. I don't know what you want with her. But your Valiance, whatever it is, it can't be good. You honestly think that after attacking the Valiant Armada, you'll be able to fly the skies freely? We're air pirates. We don't need your permission for anything. If we see something we want, we take it. It's very disappointing. I'm afraid you leave me no choice. I must destroy you.
The Little Jack. Hell yeah. Pew! Just cleave the boat in fucking half. Or the rail car. Jesus fuck. You were late, Vice. We decided to come get you, and from the looks of it, we were just in time. <laughs> Finna, are you alright? Yes, thank you very much. I'm very grateful that you've gone through so much trouble to rescue me. Relax, Finna. We're all okay right now. Save the mushy stuff for later. She is right. We can all be thankful after we've gone out of Valia. Captain, emergency. They're closing the gates. The gates closes. We're all dead. We're under attack. Valiant ships, dead ahead. They're blocking the entrance. We've got to act fast. We need to take out that blockade. Looks like I'm going to... Be able to test out the harpoon cannon earlier than I thought. All hands to battle stations. Dude, Drachma has joined the party again. We in there. I wish they missed cat food. We doing ship combat? We, we, we going to a ship boss battle? We got a warning about you air pirates from the Coliseum guards. You're not getting through here. We have seven and fifteen spare points. Honestly, maybe we should just guard. Focus. Our, no, focus. The double focus. Why do they have sub cannons? I hope these guys understand. They're getting a harpoon to the face. Boy, the harpoon cannon takes a lot of spare points to fire. Also, you can only fire it when the target is in the right place. So attack the enemy with your normal cannons and build up your spare. Then when the time is right, unleash the harpoon cannon. Main cannon! I'm gonna hit him with the poon! They don't know what's going to hit them. Apparently a cannonball. Ow! That hurt. Ow! I wish I had an ice beard.
Oh, okay. <laughs> Just one shot a fucking ship. <laughs> Looks like that was the last of them. Now we just need to get through that gate. Vice, it's closing, hurry! Come on, come on, little Jack. Get fucked. Woohoo! We did it! Alright, I know you could do it, Vice. You're the greatest. You got us through there by the skin of our teeth. You had me worried for a second there. We can finally say goodbye to Valia. Alright, let's go back to home to Pirate Isle. Almost killed us all. And I wish I did. But, you know, sometimes you don't get that uh, opportunity. He looks upset. Vice, Akia, Captain Drachma. I just wanted to tell you how much I, I, <laughs> don't worry about it. The Valians went through a lot of trouble to capture you. We just like making them mad. Vice is just kidding, Finna. You're our friend now. But while you were, we were there, I did want to grab some more loot. What? Aika, you wanted to stay in Valia? We barely made it out of there. Hey, it's an air pirate's duty to liberate any treasure that can help the needy. Um, Finna, there's something I want to ask you. What is the mission that you're on? What are you looking for, and why is the Valiant Empire after you? We might be able to help. Alright, I'll tell you. I'm a Silvite, a descendant of the Silver Civilization. Silver Civilization? Hundreds of generations ago, the world's population was divided into six civilizations. One existed under each of the moons in the sky. Green, red, blue, purple, yellow, and silver. Each civilization harnessed the power of its moon by learning how to use the moonstones as a source of energy. The entire world went through a technical, techno, technological revolution. But technology advanced faster than people were people wielding it. The leaders of each civilization has become corrupt, and their ambition led them to war. They used their technology to create weapons. These weapons were called Gigas. They were gigantic living weapons that were capable of destroying whole islands. I've heard about these Gigas before. There's a giant and a dragon, but I thought those were all tale parents told their children. I never thought that they were real. No, oh, Akia. Yeah. They are very real. When the ancient civilizations went to war, they unleashed the Gigas on each other. So many people died. Then something happened. The rains of destruction fell. No one knows exactly what caused it. Moonstones fell from each of the moons. They fell for what seemed like an eternity. Thousands of stones fell at a time, like a rainstorm. It was almost as if the moons wanted to make sure that their powers would never be misused again. Millions died in the rains. The stones battered the lands and leveled the cities. All of the ancient civilizations were destroyed. Only a few survivors remained. But even if the reigns of destruction never happened, the Gigas would have destroyed the world anyway. Now, there are people who are trying to reawaken the Gigas. 
You mean, the Valiant Empire. Yes, but to command the Gigas, it is necessary to find the Moon Crystals. The moon Crystal is a highly concentrated form of Moonstone. The original Moon Crystals used to control the Gigas are scattered throughout the world. Valia is searching for those crystals so they can reawaken the Gigas. And that's why the Valiant Empire kidnapped you. To find out where they are, were hidden. Yes. I was sent to gather the crystals before the Valiants could find them and put them somewhere where they can never be used again. Vice, Akia, I know I have caused you enough trouble, but I have another favor to ask of you. I'd like to, you to go with me. Help me travel the world and search for the crystals. Please, without my ship, I can't do it. And if Valia gets the crystals, I don't e even want to think what would happen. Leave everything to us! <laughs> Duh! We can steal your crystals, and then I can reawaken the Gigas and take over the world. Of course we're gonna do it. <laughs> we'll go with you and find the crystals. Yeah, Vice. I guess this is your chance to see what lies beyond the sunset. You're right, Nakia. Thank you so much. If you two were to come with me, I'd be so honored. Huh? Vice? What was that nose? noise? Was it that your stomach? Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay, you can come out now. Huh? What? What is that thing? Where'd it come from? I can capture it, dude! It's been with me ever since I was a baby. It's from my homeland. I can change its shape. And it's usually shaped like a bracelet around my arm. <laughs> Actually, this thing's kind of cute. What's its name? Its name is Cupel. Come, Cupel. Say hello to everyone. It's a Pokemon. Said his name. It's so cute. I'm very pleased to meet you, Cupel. Well, Finna, we've got a long journey ahead of us. We'll do our best to help you and get the crystals. Thank you. I'm so glad you're helping me. Now, yeah, the only problem left is Captain Din. I, w I wonder if he'll let us go. What are you worried about? Even if he does say no, we'll just go anyway. Alright. Once we're finished getting everything ready, we'll leave for th from the underground port. So, does Drachma not get a say in all this? Gotta catch those moonfish. So, one thing I don't understand is why did we go back to Pirate Island? They obviously know that we live here. Wouldn't that be like the first place they check? Yeah, this is Temtem. But with Sky Pirates. Hello, Adderall. How you doing? Show cat? Okay. Sorry, bud. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cat's happy on lap now. If you can't see Kidum, sucks. He on lap. He's happy. He purr. How old is that? Or ten? What's wrong, Cupel? Squeak, squeak. 
that's not what he says. He says Cupel Cupel. Really here? I see. Vice, Cupel tells me that there is a Cham around here somewhere. Cham? What's that? Cham's are little shards from moon stones that fell and shattered when they hit the ground. Cupel eats them as food. Really? Wow. I didn't know anything could eat moonstones. Where could you find them? What do they look like? You can find them all over the place, but they're very small, so they're hard to see. But I'm sure Cupel will let you know whenever we get close to a cham. You can't seem to sit still or be quiet whenever there's food nearby. I see. So all we have to do is search the ground whenever Cupel starts to go, to go a little crazy, right? Let's see if we can find anything here. The more you feed Cupel, the stronger he will become. He will be able to change into different shapes and inflict more damage in, on enemies in battle as he grows. Vice, what you did back in Valio was amazing. I've never seen you fight so hard before. You've been quite the air pirate. Captain Din has trained you well. I'm sure you'll make a fine captain someday, just like your father. I want to avoid hitting that door. Okay, so something will pop up in the top left when I'm over it. I didn't notice that ladder before. I'm not going to disturb my kiddo. He was on my lap and I didn't want to ruin his day. But I did give pets. Don't worry, Luca. But they were from me! <laughs> Ten's, Ten is old, but like not that old. It's adult life. What's wrong, Vice? You're looking uncharacteristically un grim. God. Words, they destroy my brain sometimes. That actually, there's something that I have to tell you. Don't worry, I had a feeling that I already know what you're going to say. I remember when I was your age, the feeling that I had to get away from my own little island and see the rest of the world. But when a man decides to step out onto his own path, he doesn't need to ask for his parents' permission. From now on, you are my equal, son. A man who lives by the skies. There's nothing more honorable than that. Eh. You're late on almost every other occasion, but you sure aren't wasting any time in, to try and get out on your own. Dad, go on. Get out of here, Vice. Go make your mark on the world. Oh, yeah. Thank you all so, all so much for rescuing me from the Valiants. I hope that I will be able to repay you all someday. Let's worry about keeping those moon crystals out of the hands of the Valiants. And Vice, we're all counting on you too. Uh -huh. Don't worry, Dad. I won't let you down. Well, I guess we should get going. <laughs> we'll be back soon. Bye, Captain. Bye, everyone. Uh -huh. Vice, Akia, are you sure you want to do this? Finna, there's no way we can turn this down. Don't ask Drachma! He's not important! <laughs> After what you told us about the Gigas, I don't even want to think about what the Valiant Empire would do if they got their hands on them. We're the only ones that can stop them. And well, to be completely honest, I always wanted to sail the world, and this is my chance. Moon crystals, lost cities, strange islands, I want to see them all from my own eyes. This is my chance to find out what's really out there.
You want food, buddy? Finna, you couldn't stop us from going, even if you tried. This is the kind of adventure that air pirates dream of. If we pass this up, we'd regret it for the rest of our lives. I understand. Thank you. Thank you all. Finna, do you have any idea where the crystals might be? Well, according to the ancient legends, there should be a moon crystal hidden in the lands under each of the moons. Those ones from here are hmm, the yellow moon of Valia and the red moon of Nasser. Well, there's no chance of getting back into Valia right now. You should probably wait a while before going back there. If you go east from here, you'll reach Nasser. With a normal ship, you'll probably never make it through the stone reefs on the way. But now that Little Jack's equipped with a harpoon cannon, you've got a pretty good chance of making it through. Yes. Sounds like a plan. We're heading east to Nasser, and then we're going, and we're gonna get that red moon crystal. Hey, boy. We've been standing around here long enough. Let's get going. Well, Dad, I guess it's time to say goodbye. Remember everything I taught you. Make us proud, son. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering, Brad. <laughs> Give me one sec to feed my Mr. Kittums. Mr. Adderall deserves a good food on this. Dude, I want to kill the thing he wants to kill. Though I doubt we're geared for it. Um, I should actually look into inventory. Finna, you're level fucking one. <laughs> Six MP though, that's not bad. Um... You attack with cupel. Regenerations actually sounds pretty decent. But 12 SP for that doesn't seem super worth right now. Okay, I'm going to a dead end. The time to grind Finna some levels. Good thing Alpha Storm just fucking wrecks these things. I should make sure they're all using different, uh, weapons. I 
Well, actually, I kind of want to go back to town and see if there's any, like, bounties or anything. Any side questy stuff. Yo, Bevan. This is the skies of Arcadia. There's a ton of enemies. Alpha Storm! Remember when I said I was going to make sure they're all using different um, elemental type weapons and I didn't do that? Well, we'll have another round. Dude, Finna has the best weapon in the game. Probably want to use just green. Finally, Finna, you're just leveling up. You need to. Hey, you guys, the guy that everyone is talking about? Vice, right? I heard you that you broke out of the Grand Fortress. Good job. I'm sure you heard of me during your travels. I am Domingo, treasure hunter extraordinaire. Oh, you never heard of me, you say? No, no, you, you don't need to be so bashful. I know you're truly excited to read the me real Domingo. Nonetheless, I've given up on searching for lost treasure and have taken up a new quest. I am now... I now search the world for discoveries. In fact, I'm in the midst of a search for a fabled tuple rock. Who was that? He seemed to be more than a little full of himself. I don't know, but it sounds like he's looking for discoveries too. Well, we can't let him get the best of us. We'll just have to find them before he does. Lawrence! Lawrence! Love me! Lawrence! No, I earned a bounty, right. Hmm. It must be somewhere near the Air Pirates routes. Maybe north of Moonstone Waterfall. It's near Maramba. The harbor town in the desert. Should be pretty easy to find. You have to see those islands in the mid ocean. You can't just. Rupi of the Larso clan. This came dressed to me. A black spot. It's a message from the Angel of Death. Sounds like you're in trouble. Better watch your back out there. Never report of any size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm dead. And Lawrence won't talk to me? Like, this is honestly one of the worst days. So can I do anything with my ship? What the f... So 
So why aren't I using this? The attack is 70 and the SP limit is, is 2? But can it only shoot once? No, the limit's plus 1. I don't fucking know. That just seems like a strict upgrade, though. I'm gonna go bankrupt at this rate. Selling stuff seems lame. I'm really rich. What are you? I'm Pinta. I travel the skies looking for all sorts of equipment. I live my life searching for exotic and rare things. My dream is to collect all the rare items in the world. Every last one of them. Well, all the items in the world. You got big dreams for such a little fellow. My dream is to sail around the world someday. You know just how you feel. We both have really big goals. I think we'll just get along just fine. You're a dreamer like myself. Yep, we both got big dreams, and now we just gotta concentrate on making our dreams come true, right? Of course. Well, you take care. Don't be a stranger if you're ever in town again. What do you do? Oh, hey, Vice. How's the sailing been going? Have you traveled around the world yet? No. You're a dick. I have a feeling if there is no purpose for this lighthouse yet, the only purpose I can think of is to get Finna an upgrade for her weapon. Ah! There's there's controller shaking! There's cupel yelling! Do I have to use the food? What 
What's the say that I need? Someone has to fuck me up, I guess. All right. Let us go to adventure. I found a ship. Do not underestimate the power of the ship. We've got a magic cannon on board. Prepare for the wrath of the Armada. No, but I can use Pyrus. Give him the poon. Took a fuck ton of damage there. I can't even give him the poon. We can survive a hit. Can't even give him a little poon. When I can give him the poon, he's taking the poon. Dude, imagine being able to incrim your own fucking ship. I need to actually do that. Oh, I got a huge hit on him. Apparently I can cast magic, what the fuck?
Get him! God, that those magic attacks are brutal. Yikes, dude. We're so close! We risk it? They healed? Fuck them. We should have healed. <laughs> Alright, we just need to go before them. Oh god, we're getting magic. Should have played safe. I wasn't expecting a heal, dude. So I believe my last save was on the island. Yeah, um, not too far back. Under Cham. What is that to rebuy some stuff? I think I have to talk to my dad. God dang it. They made sure I had to be nice to my parents. One unrealistic game. One sec, I'm trying to take the batteries out of my Wiimote so they don't get drained. Man, you know, I could have won that fight if I could poon. I think my issue was I wasn't able to poon him. That's what they say. No poon? No toon. No poon, no moon. I get it. Actually, can you explain it to me real quick? Huh. 
Okay. I mean, you don't have to. It's fine. I'm a little devastated you didn't, but, you know. Look at Finna go! Bloop! Aw, oh, good try. Can this thing even be hit? Oh, yes, apparently. Yeah, but it won't take that long. We did it. We... Yeah, we weren't too far behind where we are now. We'll have to go grab the food again. I think that's the thing that's going to take the longest. Alpha Storm! Are you really just aiming at one person? And it has like the worst attack, I love it. We don't have Beta Drizzle, we only have Alpha Storm. Yeah, why aren't the, the moves called that? <laughs> I'd be way more invested in the game if I could use Delta Nice Day for a picnic. <laughs> Make the pit stop. This one should be pretty easy since I've already done it once. It's like running. I'm speed running a game. It's just a very short burst. I'm actually probably gonna buy two of those three cannons. Not eleven, two. Those actually seem super good.
I'm all caught up. Like nothing heckin' happened. Almost. We can climb the ladder again. Force two cham down this girl's throat. And we're good. Practically a gamer. I can't move. I'm bad at moving. Alright, so I might avoid the ship combat. I don't know. Maybe we can take it this time. Now that I know I can use magic on ships. I should save before doing it, actually. Oh, this is a bad place. I only did 75 to the tomato thing. I guess we die here. Tiger Killer Tomatoes is a very spooky movie. So I still don't have any idea what the fish do. But I can collect them. So I do. Imagine attacking to do zero just to get counterattacked. Huh. That was easy. Oh, so worth doing that fight. Look how much freaking fish I got. So why is my compass going all crazy?
I have found the guide stones. What the heck that is? The red moon! Alpha's down! Ow. We did it. Look how pug. What's his name? QP gets when they win a battle. I wish I could be as pog as QP. I got you need to stop missing. Drachma just hit so god dang hard. I get it because he deletes. Haha, <laughs> wait. That is the joke, yeah? Or is it delete my dick? <laughs> I don't get it. Jokes are hard. We are the NASA Air Guard. It is our duty to defend the South Danel Strait. The Southern Danel Strait is a restricted area. Not all authorized vessels may pass through here without express permission. And then what do I do? Oh, can I go through here? I don't know how the drill helps, but you can. Well, there's nothing here but sand. So this is, is a desert. I've heard sailors talk about them before, but this is my first time see actually seeing one. Now that you mention it, I've heard sailors talking about them too. 
They said the nasir deserts are so hot. If you walk around in the sun for too long, your hair catches fire. What a good drawing. This is good art. This is quality art. Everyone carries buckets of water around with them so they can put their friend's hair out and then... Oh, come on, Aika. You don't actually believe those crazy stories. Sometimes I wonder what goes on the head of yours. Don't come crying to me when your head bursts into flames. That glass eye patch you wear will intensify the sun rays and fry your brain. I'm just kidding, Vice. It's just a story that I heard a long time ago. I didn't really believe it either. <laughs> she can't be too careful. The moonstones that fall from the red moon give off a great deal of heat. It's too hot for most plants to survive. Because of this, the lands of Naser have been reduced to a barren wasteland. I see. There isn't much down there besides sand and rock. The red moon crystal should be hidden somewhere in the desert, right? That's right, Vice. It's buried deep within the ancient temple of Pyrin. Pyrin. Ancient temple. I bet there's all kinds of treasure in there. Maybe some gold and gems and magic stuff and nice clothes and, and stuff. And if we find a bunch of treasure, we'll be rich. We can go buy whatever we want. What's the first thing you'd buy, Finna? B buy? Um, um, what does that mean exactly? What? Finna, you don't know what that means? I'm terribly sorry. I've never seen the rest of the world before, and... You don't need to look very far to find a shop. Everyone buys stuff. It's it's normal. Well, Finna, you really don't get out much, do you? Can't just say that about someone. According to the map, there's a city nearby called Maramba. Let's go there first. I'm too old for this. <laughs> Your ship got hijacked, yo. You let some people on, and then... Your ship just got hijacked. I found the Temple of Pyron. Wait, right, this is it. This is where Red Moon Crystal is buried. Great. Let's land the ship and search the place right away. Wait, boy. Head to the town first. I got some things that I need to take care of. There's a port named Maramba nearby. Go there first. I'm sure. No problem. I just thought that we could, um, never mind. Doesn't matter to me. the fuck? The Wandering Lake! Drachma may have the Grumpy Dumpies. That's it. He just may have the Grumpy Dumpies. Magic? Dang it. He missed his match. <laughs> you can't say stuff like that, G. Come on now. Huh. Prove it. Say stuff like that, G. Huh? I dare you. Hello! You're allowed to say hello. Everyone can say hello. <laughs> okay, I'm actually gonna use magic. This needs to stop. Magic?
This should be at least a decent experience for, uh... Finna. I just want to get to shore! It's only two enemies, then whatever. Though that flying platypus thing is terrifying. <laughs> That is very cursed indeed. We killed the cursed platypus. So this is Maramba. It's so hot. Huh? Where'd the captain go? Hey! Wait, captain! Where are you going? This is where we park company. I've got my own quest to worry about. I've got to find Rocknum. What? Wait a second! Yeah, I was wondering about this for so long! <laughs> What are we supposed to do? We're in the middle of a desert without a ship. How are we supposed to continue on our mission? That's not my concern. I have no interest in crystals or temples. I must find Rocknum. I cannot waste any more time babysitting. Hey, come back here! You eyepads wearing freak! You rusty old man! Hey, are you listening to me? Oh my, this isn't good at all. What should we do? Can't even get out of the city, let alone make it to a temple. We're stuck here. Well, we have no choice right now other than to start exploring the city. Maybe we can find someone who can take us to the temple. That's all we can do for now. Good old Drachma. Okay, I'm actually starving. So I think I'm going to call it here.